Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Yeah, for another episode. Um, things are a little bit different, you may notice. Uh, mouse is still really slow, but we're in a completely different spot. So I'll show you guys what's happened. Uh, let's go through and get rid of all this. So down the bottom here, um, I sold both of these fields. Um, got rid of our storage shed here, our chickens over here, um, our little workshop and got rid of all that stuff and I purchased field number three moved everything up to here and that or field number three area number three I should say with field three in it um, so this is the only spot we've got at the moment um, 141,000 I would like to buy this which is 448 so let's see um, I'm just going to borrow our maximum amount we should be able to get more than 448. Probably should get like 650, 700,000 maybe. Close to 650. 641. Beautiful. Okay, so then what we're going to do, buy that. I've got this. We're going to buy this section. Yes. Which is going to allow us to... Uh, actually, I'd had the truck here. I was meant to get in the truck. Um, it's going to allow us to be able to use a lot of this area over here uh, which is my plan so what I've done off camera is I moved everything up I um, cultivated seeded um, fertilized weeded all that sort of stuff and the crops ready to go it's wheat um, and I mowed all the way around the outside and sold all the bales well I sold 16 out of the 20 bales and got 35,000 maybe yeah, 30, no, 33 and a half thousand for contracts. Did a couple of contracts as well while I was waiting. There you go, 34 and a half thousand for bales. So that was our land over that side where the grass is sort of short. Now, this is the land that we've just purchased. So this is, you know, pretty flat. Pretty flat area, and it's a big, massive area. So my idea was to um, put in our homestead here somewhere. Um, into here, so, or a farmhouse I guess, in there somewhere. Um, I wanted to get first would be the sheep pasture. So, I mean, we've got plenty of space here uh, for the sheep pasture and that sort of stuff. The only thing I'm concerned about is um, like the cost. So if we bring up that menu again, as you can see, 180,000. So if I want to put it, say, here, 184. So that's not bad. Okay, put the sheep pen here, um, put the cows here or something, pigs over there, the farmhouse sort of here, um, something along those lines and then still have a little bit of grass area to sort of mow um, and then eventually buy field two, buy field one which is already grass and have this huge massive grass area to be able to supplement you know, the feed to the cows and to the sheep and pigs and all that sort of stuff. So that's the um, long term plan to purchase this area here. Well, we purchased it now, but to to fill it out with all the stuff we're going to need um, to get into animals. Um, definitely start with the sheep first because they're the cheapest. Um, 180,000 to place it down, and then all they need is water and grass, which we've got plenty of. So um, that's what we're going to do. So today, my plan was just to harvest this field with you guys. Um, see, oh Jesus, see what sort of money we make. And um, see what else we can get done over here before we end the episode. But depending on how long it takes us to harvest, um, depends on how much we're going to get done today. So, we've got the big harvester that we've leased. Um, I think it costs us $4,000 for leased equipment um, overnight. So, not too bad, I suppose. Can't complain at all. Gonna turn it on and leave it lifted up. Now the, the field is a little bit of a weird shape, it's not quite a square, it's more of a well a rectangle but with a point at the top right hand corner, so uh, I said yeah it's not not quite a square but it's not bad at all, so uh, no, what do you want to do? Naval straw swath. There we go. Swath, swath, whatever you want to call it. There we go, it's coming out the back. So we're going to get heaps of straw out of this. Um, as I said, with this field, if we have a look uh, here, 
soil composition, it's fertilized, doesn't need plowing, didn't need weed, didn't need lime, so everything is good. We should have got, or we should get 100% yield out of this. So it'll be interesting to find out the sort of numbers that we're going to get. Um, I think we got, would have been, what was it for field 24 and 25? Maybe 8,000 litres or something along those lines? So it wasn't bad, um, but obviously it wasn't great either because um, when we moved, we moved the, um, or reset the trailer I should say, we lost a whole heap of the stuff that we harvested, so we lost a heap of money out of that, but this one we should get a lot more profit, and um, we should be able to well, I'm going to sell some of these bales, and I'm also going to keep some of these bales. Um, obviously for the cows and that sort of stuff. So I want to put in like a whole heap of sheds and all that sort of stuff along here. But it's just a matter of working out exactly where we're going to put them. Because I don't want to limit like the area that we can cut grass. So I don't want to have to um, come into here and go, you know, buy bales and be buying hay bales or... There's no grass bales, but like buying hay bales and that sort of stuff for for the sheep because they are pretty bloody expensive. So I'm hoping to leave a little bit of grass. So, so we got 20 bales out of the grass around this field, so not a bad amount. Um, so that's 80,000 litres of grass we got. So that should um, give us plenty of feed for the for the sheep at least. And then obviously with the cows and all that sort of stuff as well. So this is row number three. I mean, we're probably going to have ten rows, maybe ten runs up and down. Um, I was thinking of also getting, um, like using the truck to empty the harvester, not the trailer because it's so much quicker to empty it. So we've got wheat in. So let's have a look and see where's the best price for wheat at the moment. Uh, the restaurant definitely the best price so that's where we'll be taking it definitely use the um, the pickup because it's going to be a lot quicker to get there I'm just hoping um, it'll be able to tow it properly a few things I tried to tow and it's um, made the made the pickup do a wheelie and it just wouldn't go anywhere so I really need to stop oh, so stop the end of each run but look how much straw it leaves on the ground when you do that. Maybe just run it out slower. So we're over halfway full, so we should get a decent harvest out of this. Definitely should. Still got the small trailer. Um, one full load in the harvester will be um, I think it's 15 or 16,000. That trailer can take like 21,000, so be able to empty this fully, take it, drop it off, come back and then um, unload him again. I'm just trying to make sure we limit the amount of time we use on this machine because we've got to pay plenty of money to hire this thing. Uh, obviously the goal is to be able to return it and buy our own later on. We'll try and have no hired gear at all but you know when you get started you need to have that hired gear just to help help get things up off the ground. Nice and steady, beautiful. Much better than last time. So I'll turn around um, and I'll set a hide worker because I want to go and grab that other trailer. Hide worker, let him go. Him or her go. Go and pick up our truck. Here he is over here. Grab that trailer and then we'll um, head over and hopefully be able to unload him. Um, and get out of here without having too much of a drama. It's a little bit rough, this spot here. So there are a few mods out at the moment on the Mod Hub um, FS19 website and actually internally in the game. There's a few other ones that aren't there as well that you can get from websites and that sort of stuff, but I'm kind of trying to avoid um, getting them from anywhere other than the Mod Hub because 
you know, they've been tested and proven. Uh, and that sort of stuff, you know, so I don't want to get a mod which is going to possibly uh, crash our game. Is this guy... If we get off the side, we stop... Nope, we won't stop. Where the hell are you going? You're destroying the crop, you idiot. Is he or is he not? Ah, uh, no, he's not. How does that not happen? How does he not destroy the crop? I thought for sure he would have. Maybe because of that rail, that um, rail line. Are you still making it? The beeping because it's nearly full, or is it beeping for another reason? Um, so I'm gonna put that back down. Get it full, and then I'm gonna have to like turn it around the other way so we can empty it. Just hoping to try and catch it before it. Um... So now we're destroying the crop before it made its turn, but he didn't. How does that work? Oh, anyway, that's fine, but he's missed it a little bit here, which we'll have to come back and we'll clean up after him, of course. And we'll drive under here. Shut this down. We'll go on. Oh, the mouse is still so bloody slow. Um, is that the champion? It was. Yeah, so we got the same header as we did the harvest. I wasn't quite sure if we got the right one. It'll take a little while to unload, but. Should be a decent amount of profit. We don't need wheat for anything. As far as the sheep go, um, I'm pretty sure that all they take is just grass um, and water and straw, maybe, for bedding. That's grass and that's straw, I believe. Maybe for bedding. Um, I don't know what that is there. Like a little area from the sleep? I don't know. So you could go the smaller one, but it's not even... Doesn't really look that much smaller, does it? Really? Not by much. I'll turn that back in. Get him heading back down and hire another worker. I'll let him do his thing. Jump back in our Pick up. Cover on, and we'll head off. Is it lift in the front? Um, here's a little, a little bit, it's probably not a good idea. It probably really isn't a good idea. Um, and we, it's probably not a good idea to go over the rail line either, but we're gonna. Or not. So if we go on the long way. Probably need the bigger pickup, maybe, if we're gonna do this. Or just use a tractor because it's very, very, very unstable. Just take it nice and steady, we might be okay. I don't know how many times, Jesus, how many times I've rolled and flipped this truck. Uh, it's been a fair few. Oh, I see, it's just. Very, very unstable. I don't think we'll do this again. I think we'll use the tractor next time. Yeah, it's very, very unstable. Anyway, we'll head down. Um, sort of taking like a little bit of a scenic route, but we will get there. So we're going to need to put in like our sheep, um, sheep pen. We're going to need to buy some sheep. We're going to need to supply them with water, some grass. We're also going to need to probably get some straw bales in there as well. Um, God, this thing is terrible. We're also going to have to uh, get a workshop somewhere, hopefully, close to there. But I really think once we get the sheep in, our next priority... Jesus, this is terrible. Our next priority will be to get um, like our farmhouse in. That way we can... Um, 
sort of plan things around it. Um, what's the port grain elevator? Yes, it's like a hundred hundred bucks less. What's the central grain elevator? Nine twenty five, nine forty three. We are really struggling with this truck. I don't even know why I thought this would do it. It's towed it before really well, but obviously it wasn't completely full. It only had four or five thousand in it, not this much, so it might just take a load to here and um I'll go from there. It's really hard to drive. I'm not sure what that mark is there. Let's hope we can get in here okay. Barely. Ah, oh, come on. Everything's just way too bloody small. Too low to the ground. Too much weight in it. No, see, why do they have those lips there? I still don't think, even if we go this way, we're not going to get in there, I think. Oh, god damn. Unbelievable. Um, I think there's going to be lips, like, the whole way around it. I don't, th I don't think it matters how fast we go. We're probably not going to get in there properly. Live and learn, you guys don't do this. Actually, where? Must be another way in. Around the other side, but that doesn't mean we're still going to get in there. So we might get in there because there's not really a lip. Boom, there we go. Whereas there's a lip over there again, so we still wouldn't have got through there. Oh, come on. How can you get over one and then not the other? Would have been a lot quicker to bring the bloody tractor. There we go. Thank God for that. We should be tipping in here somewhere. Oh, there's another lip there that we just got over. There's, I don't know why they they are everywhere. They should be further down into the ground. Is there another one there? No. Oh, come on. Wow, this thing's definitely, definitely not cut out for this sort of thing. Tip this off. How's our other guy going? Is he still he's still working away? So that's good. How much we're we gonna make? Sixteen thousand. So it might be a good thirty. Oh, what happened there? Is that meant to be like a jump? <laughs> that's what it kind of looks like. Uh, we should make a good thirty thousand. What's this? Sell wood. Okay. But this is... It's not the sawmill, though. The sawmill's, like, over there. So why would you want to sell wood there? I'm really not quite sure. Right, so he's nearly full, so we'll... Try and get back down there sometime this month and... Unload him again, but that was... Definitely was not ideal. We would have been better off dropping it over to the silo and then taking the train. Might have been a better way of doing things. Must we do that this time? There's some pretty cool buildings around. I haven't even had a proper look at the map yet. Um, didn't bother to give you guys like a map tour because there's so many people out there already that have done map tours on YouTube so I kind of don't see the point in doubling up on that sort of thing. 
Um, and why are we still times 15 speed? It should be times 1. Right, so we'll sneak down the side of the railway line here. He's on the right side for us to unload him. There's a few bits we're going to have to touch up afterwards, but... Actually, that looks like... Yeah, that's his last pass. He's, he's full. So we're going to swing around and go underneath him, and then we'll drop the trailer. And um, swap this bloody truck out. We're probably only going to need to use that little tractor. See, I've pretty much just got everything sitting over here. Uh, we're going to need to get rid of those bales as well, so I'm going to have to drop them off somewhere. But everything's sitting here until we can work out exactly where we're going to put everything. I don't want to be, um, you know, putting things down and then having to come along and rip things back up again and sell things and move things around and just waste more and more money, so... Is he... No, he's not going to do it. We might have to jump in and do it ourselves because he's no longer hired. He is hired, but he's still sitting there. Money for nothing. Because he won't work. Right, we'll do it. We'll take care of it. Finish off this run and then we'll tidy up those other bits. Hopefully it's enough to fill that trailer. So hopefully you guys have been um, enjoying the series so far and happy to stick around and see a little bit more of it. I um, had a few comments, a few good ideas from some of you guys, so if you've got any other ideas on what we should and shouldn't do, leave it in the comments section. And, um, we'll definitely take a look at it. So um, I really like the idea of coming up here and um, being able to have these big fields, this big flat area over here is absolutely ideal for us, um, for what we want to do, so big flat area, these two big fields to be able to like feed uh, the cows and the sheep and you know eventually horses and pigs and all that sort of stuff, so it's ideal. Then field number one, um, it will be our, like our grass field, so It'll be pretty cool once it's all up and ready to go. Got both these other areas brought. All these buildings in ready to go, which is probably still a little while away yet because it's a lot of money we don't have at the moment. Shut him and then we will fold him up. Uh, maybe not what that is. Northwest Transport. So I don't think they would like us if we parked their harvester in their driveway or in there at all. I'll park you there, shut you down. All this stuff here does look extremely bloody messy, but there's not much else we can do, I suppose. Um, one thing I have seen, I've been watching a few other guys on YouTube and that, as I always do, these subsoilers look pretty cool, like, prepares the fields for the next sowing, it can be used instead of a plough, so it cultivates and ploughs. Uh, what's a combi plough? So that does, like, is that seed? Or a fertiliser? That looks like fertiliser, yeah, it's fertiliser. Um, and then these other ones here that fertilizes as well, which is 6 meters, that's 7 meters wide. We need 420 horsepower. That one's 500. Um, I don't think we have... Oops. I don't think we have 500 horsepower. 142 and 300. So yeah, no, definitely not. Definitely need to upgrade or buy a big tractor before we go doing that. So make sure that bucket's up out of the way so we don't go... Picking up any of this um, straw. So I'll head down and um, 
drop our wheat off into the grain elevator over here, then we can take it down by train. Um, I will get rid of that. See, that's... No, so port. Central grain is the other one. Okay. Uh, so 400,000 litres we can put in here, I believe. Or maximum. So maybe 200,000 here and 200,000 at the, the east one. I don't know why it's west and east. It should be like north and east or north and south or something. But um, If you guys know of any other areas that are really flat, got good areas that we can build on, other than up here next to level uh, to field number three, let me know. I haven't found any as yet, but as I said, I haven't done a full tour of the map either. So this guy is struggling up here. We should have went the other way. Come on, but oh, oh. slipping. Try and get it, another bit of a run up. Definitely didn't expect it to slip. I mean, I don't know if these thin wheels have anything to do with it, with not getting quite as much grip as you would with the uh, wider wheels, of course, because you've got more more rubber on the ground, more tread on the ground. Could possibly help, but this guy's just um, it's lifting the front wheels off the ground. Definitely struggling. There you go, once he gets on the flat, he's alright. Okay, so we'll go through, dump it into here, and we might have to do the whole switch to train thing, because I don't know. I doubt if the train will actually stop here. So we'll tip it off into there, shut that down. Can we run around and. There's nothing that we can but be careful here. I thought we can click on that says drive train. That I can see. So we'll have to go switch to trains on. Oh, there we go. Uh, where are we? All the way down there. So we'll go flat out. Bit of a look around while we're here, I suppose. See what areas are flat, what areas aren't. Um, I think I can't remember if it was FS17 where the trains weren't going, unless you had the mod. I'm not quite sure. I believe it might have been that they were just sort of sitting stationary, unless you were driving them, or unless you had the mod installed to make them drive at all times. So those tracks are really weird. That should be more. A gentle curve around there. Uh, there's that ranch up there as well. Uh, no idea what that is. Oh, that's the dam. So there's no real flat areas around here. I don't think. No, we can buy all up through here and everything. Which kind of seems pointless to me unless you're gonna. I don't know, do forestry, or maybe just want to buy the whole the whole map, I guess, which is an option. Um, it's interesting, inside, well detailed. I might start to slow down, because I don't know how long this thing's going to take to stop. So see our tractor there, which is good to go. We need to slow this guy right down. Um, start filling. Open cover. Uh, so wheat, barley, oat, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beet, wheat. Put pretty much everything in there, which is pretty cool. Start overloading. What does that mean? Is that just... Uh, what's... Uh, okay, so that... Overloading puts it back in the silo. Oh, interesting, okay. 
Right. Let's go. Shut the cover. It's pretty cool. So you can harvest it and put it into here. Um, and then get on the train. Drive it down to the railroad east. Drop it off there. Then have a, tra a tractor or a truck there ready to take it from there to the ranch. Or there to the restaurant because it's closer. You know what I mean? So you're not having to drive the whole way. Which... Obviously, it takes a lot longer, but you know it's fr it's free, free fuel. We're not paying for fuel with this, so um, there's my speed again. I must be hitting the wrong button. It's late at night here. It's dark, and I don't have the light on, so I can't see the keyboard properly. It's an interesting building there too. It's like a rail. Railroad house sort of thing. Beautiful area down there, the pier and everything. I wonder if you can actually go out in the pier. So it's part of the map, so I'm assuming. Or maybe. It's not quite part of the map, I don't think. Unload. Uh, how much was that? 17,000. Beautiful. Alright, let's go back to this guy. Let's go to our income. Where's our harvest income? So, yeah, 34,000. So that's not bad for that field. Plus, you know, we're going to get some income out of um, the bales as well. Um, we're going to maybe keep a stack of 14. Or 16, maybe two stacks, depending on how many we get, and then um, sell the rest. That's probably might be a few trips actually taking the bales down and selling them. And I don't know if the truck or the pickup will be able to handle it, um, like the weight and that sort of thing. I can't remember where I had this trailer parked. Not that it really matters, I might just park it next to the fuel fuel bowser here. Um, I did also pick up one of those um, what little mini bale trailers you can see just up here maybe you can see. Um, I picked up that to be able to bring up some more um, herbicide and some more fertilizer and that sort of stuff so so up here I loaded it I just rented a little skid steer and um, loaded it up with those um, but what I would recommend with a skid steer I got the cheap one with just the wheels and when it was lifting these guys up it was tipping forward so I don't know if it's better off buying the tracked one or not but um, it was definitely struggling for some reason We've got weeds on the field already. This is where we need the uh, weeder, which we no longer have. Right, so unfold. Roll the pick up, get it started. And then we'll start pumping out some straw bales. We should get a fair few, actually. Is that going to give us... I wonder if it gives us like a half... Half grass, half straw, or just no, nah, just finishes off it as a as a grass bale. See, I did empty it, but it doesn't completely empty um, what that bale because it's still there's still some grass inside the machine. So got one extra on which we can wrap and turn into a silage bale as well. Two, three. It's actually going really quick. Especially these big spots at the end will throw the numbers through the roof. So that's four bales in that row. Or well, three and a half, I should say. So we're going to get a fair few, but I said I want to keep maybe just keep one stack. Um, 
at the moment, and I want to stack it somewhere flat. So, I mean, we might even take it in the transport company there and dump it in there somewhere, somewhere flat. Kind of out of the way. Um, I want to avoid taking it up there because I want to have the whole place empty for we, when we work out where we're going to put things. It's a shame we don't have um, 350,000 now so we can work out exactly where we're going to put the homestead before we go putting anything else in, but... I think the sheep pen, if we put that in, it should be fine. This guy's struggling a little. It's kind of... It's like it's, it's not know if it's really going uphill that much. Or is it just where I'm driving on the... It must be sl a slight incline or something. But we are going to get a heap of bales out of this. That's four, five, six, seven. Let's say seven per row. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56. Is there another one there? 56, 63, so 70 plus those, 74 bales. So bloody heaps. We won't need to do any more um, straw bales for a while. We'll need to work out um, what sort of stuff we're going to need for um, the cows. Obviously, we're going to need straw bales, hay bales, or grass bales. Either one. I'm not quite sure if it's going to need hay or grass. And then our silage bales to make mixed ration. We're going to need grass. We're going to need straw, um, water, and that sort of stuff as well. So to make sure we've got a little bit of everything. The other question is, where do we put our silo? Or we need a silo in here somewhere. Um, where's the best spot for that? Could be down the front here somewhere. We want somewhere reasonably level, which there really isn't anywhere level down here now. Yeah, so I mean, only maybe down near the field one somewhere down there, if there's a level spot, which I'm not quite sure if there is. Maybe like over on that hill over there. Might be a reasonably flat area on the top there we can put in a silo. Um, not quite sure. I don't know if we'll have time to have a look. Um, probably should. Yeah, he's only halfway through. Maybe like, yeah, see, there's like a. It's a pretty flat area there. You could put a silo up here, which will work. And obviously, we're going to put in a large silo, not a small silo, but that spot down there will work. It's a little bit away from where all the cows and that are going to be, the animals, but we want to focus that area on what we need. And then if we have room for a silo, we might put one in there somewhere, but it's not a priority up there. These humps, I'm surprised you actually get over the humps. It's a shame that we can't hire workers doing this, but... Um, when you do collect the straw bales, or any bales as such, and you put them down the ground, as a stack of 16 with that trailer, you can just go up beside it, um, drop the arm down again, and it'll just start taking bales from the bottom, and then reload the um, actual trailer, so you don't have to feel like you need to um, stack them stack them anywhere close to where you want them, you can stack them anywhere and just go back and get the trailer, and they can it'll reload it back onto the trailer, and then you can move it again from there, so... The area there looks pretty big, but by the time we put all the stuff in there, I don't think we're going to have much room, so we're going to have to work out where we're going to put things. still want two big sheds, maybe even three big sheds somewhere. So we're going to have to work out where all this stuff's going to go. I want to get all this stuff out of the weather and put it under cover. I don't know if um, it affects how much the truck, the, the tractors and equipment wears out. 
um, with it being not undercover and out in the weather and that sort of stuff, so I'm assuming it would um, wear a lot quicker if it was out in the open than it would if it was actually undercover, but it depends whether Giants have actually implement, implemented that into the game or not. Surprised we got weeds already. When we go to when we um, cultivate the stuff anyway, they're going to disappear. But do we need to? Um, no, we don't need to plow again, which is good. Let's cultivate and sow again. The worst part is when we drive over that. I think that does destroy the grass as well. Um, yeah, it does. You can see the green lines where it's growing again. So we're driving over the grass and killing it, but. It is what it is. We can only only thing we can do is turn off crop dis, dis, um, destruction, but I'd rather not do that. I want to try and have it as realistic as possible. It's like we're going to need a bloody big tractor soon. This thing's just not pulling, not pulling like it should. So we're going to need at least two sheds, maybe three, maybe like as close as field as we can, and a workshop as well. I want to get in down here, silo up there. Um, definitely sheep first, then maybe maybe cows, because pigs take corn and um, like potato or sugar beets as well. They take a lot more work than just the cows, so well, a lot more crop, I should say. Cows take a fair bit of work with all the mowing and baling and that sort of stuff, but having to do you know a bit of potato. Or sugar beet and corn and all that stuff as well to feed to them so it takes a little bit I don't know if you guys have been counting the bales but I certainly haven't I wonder if I've actually got 74 it's three so there's only six in that row one two three four five six in that one one two three four five six Maybe six in each. So six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Oh Jesus. Thirty, thirty-six, forty-two, forty-eight, fifty-four, sixty, sixty-six, seventy-two still, so still we've got seventy. Possibly. Sixty, yeah, sixty-six or so, sixty-six, seventy. Oh, so slow going up this hill. Oh, let's bring this back down and just drop that bale. There's only one left in there. Uh, fold him up. Kind of got everything in order. That's how we use it when we're mowing and stuff. Where's me? Oh, so where's my bale trailer? But well, there it is. Still got the um, four silage bales on it. So this guy, bring him into position. I'll grab the wrapper. we will go and wrap that one bale. And then we'll come back and. Grab the trailer, pick it up, and go and dump these five bales somewhere, and then come back and start collecting the straw ones. Obviously, once we buy these other areas too, there's going to be a lot of grass to mow. Um, before I place anything up here, which might be next episode, I'll probably mow the whole area, get as much grass and stuff as we can. We're going to need to get um, like a loading trailer, loading wagon, to get as much grass as we can that way. Also get some um, hay bales, maybe some straw bales. I think if we go... Um, where are we? That's no pig sheep. So that's grass, straw, and water. Um, yeah, so grass. 
Yeah, grass, straw, water, silage, and I don't know what that is. Might be f mixed ration, I'm assuming. Alright, so he can stay there. Transport position, we'll pick up this one. And we'll drop these guys off. Um, so there's not a bad spot up there. Seems to be reasonably flat up the top here. I don't think we can buy this area though. We could put a couple of sheds up here. We might just um, store our bales and stuff up here for now. What a bad spot up there out of the way. As I said, I don't think... Oh no, we do. We do own that spot. That would be absolutely perfect for um, one of these guys. Where are we on the map? Wrong button. Might be a little bit too big, but obviously you guys sort of catch my drift. We can put this up here somewhere. Obviously a smaller one, not this size. Maybe even just hide our tractors up there or something. We could fit them up there, I'd say. We'll fit something up there. I might just pick up a full load of bales and... We can end the episode from there. It's pretty quick. Once we get some mods, or like auto-load trailers and stuff, um, as much as I, I said I want to keep it as realistic as we can, like the auto load trailers are so good, really good to use, makes our job a lot easier, a lot quicker. Whereas this is, obviously you can see how slow this is at times. Ten on board already. Eleven, twelve. I think I cut that a bit fine. Surprised it doesn't kill the weeds driving over them. It should. It kills everything else. Uh, Fourteen. and 16. Beautiful. So I'll stick these up there as well and just get them out of the way. See, it's not a bad spot. So if we go maybe two trailer loads of straw bales and then the other ones we'll take, off, take down and actually sell them. Try and back this up a bit better than the last one. Start lifting him up. That way we work out we're not too close to the wall. One thing I've noticed there's no real um, there's no real shed for bales. There's no big barn just for us to store bales like this which is something we really need. So somewhere we can put this, the bales under cover and protected. That way if it rains, like in the game, if it rains, it should. Um, we can't really reduce the quality. But instead of it being a 4,000 litre straw bale, maybe drop it back to three and a half or, you know, depending on how much it rains, if it's um, under cover or not and that sort of stuff, drop it down, drop its value down from 4,000 litres to, you know, 3,800, 3,500, 3,000, something along those lines. I think that'll um, be a little cool added feature, but... Alright guys, what I'll do is I'll end the episode here and I'll continue to finish this off. Um, so I'll mow around the outside and then we'll come back when we start working out where we're going to place things over there. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, as always, smash a like button, leave a comment and let me know if you like the idea of us moving up to the northwest of the map here and putting all the animals and stuff over here and 
you know, shed up there, silo down there, let me know if you've got any other ideas of where else we can go for those sorts of things. Um, instead of just here, also leave that in the comments section. And um, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, and want to see some more FS19, hit that subscribe button. It's been Brito, thanks for watching. See you again soon.